I mean, did that worry you right away before they announced no, who I the knew, winner was? I saw all the Korean shot number nine. I knew what they had did. But like I said, there's nothing I can do about that, you know. Hello HTV Boxing fans, welcome back to our controversial boxing history short series where we talk about some of the most controversial events in boxing history. Today I'm diving into the captivating story of Roy Jones Jr and the evasive gold medal he would have won at the 1988 Olympics. The 1988 Summer Olympics in Seoul, South Korea was as intense as every other competition hosted by the International Olympic Committee. However, many boxing fans and analysts like myself remember it for what was a clear robbery. Representing the United States, the legendary Roy Jones Jr. made it to the gold medal stage bout against South Korea's Park si Hun in the light middleweight division. In the final match, Jones displayed exceptional boxing skills, strategically landing clean and effective punches while masterfully evading Park's attacks. Approaching the halfway mark of this third round and Park si Hun is taking a thrashing. It seemed like victory was within Jones' grip. It was back in 1984 the Los Angeles Olympics that Frank Tate won the gold in this light middleweight division. Roy Jones looking to join him in the record books. But here is a shocking twist. Despite his dominance during the entire bout, the judges awarded a controversial 3-2 split decision victory to Park Sin Hun. It is all over. Roy Jones and Park Si Hun will be back with the decision well, if he doesn't win the goal off this, then I think there's something rotten in Korea because that is absolutely one of the most dominant things I've seen. The winner seen. is on point three two in the blue corner. Well, there it is. Mark Sihan has stolen the belt. Many boxing fans expressed their disappointment in the decision and argued that Jones was unjustly denied the gold medal leading the International Olympic Committee to launch an investigation into the scoring controversy. Eventually, it was revealed that bribery and corruption had influenced three of the judges involved in the bout. This revelation tarnished the outcome of the match. However, despite evidence of corruption, the IOC made the controversial decision not to overturn the official results or award the gold medal to Jones. Even though it seemed Jones' effort had gone to waste, his exceptional skill and performances earned him the Va Barker Trophy, prestigious award reserved for the most outstanding male boxer of the Olympics Games. In recognition of his extraordinary abilities and unfortunate fate in the finals, Jones was awarded this trophy by the International Amateur Boxing Association. As a testament to his exceptional skills, technique and style throughout the Olympic Games, the presentation of the Val Barker Trophy showcased the consensus among boxing experts and observers that Roy Jones Jr. was the standout performer of the 1988 Olympics. Despite the controversy surrounding the gold medal bout, his skills and dominance in the ring were widely acknowledged and celebrated. Jones didn't let the setback define his career. He went on to have a highly successful professional journey, becoming one of the sport's all-time greats in multiple weight divisions. the bout ended was there any doubt in your mind that you had won the fight no there was no doubt at all i knew i had won the fight won all three rounds clearly but now what about when you heard that the decision was three two what could i do i know? mean did that worry you right away before they announced no, who I, the winner was that's all the career so i never done i knew what they had did but like i said there's nothing i can do about that you know uh, i think i go home go to school you know 
my little five boxes or whatever. Thanks for listening and watch out for our next controversy in boxing history.